if you struggle with applying eyeshadow you don't know how to blend it or you just don't know how to put eyeshadow this video is for you hi you guys welcome back to my channel in this video we're going to go back to basics and i'm going to be teaching you how to apply eyeshadows perfectly every time if you're interested in any of this keep on watching before i jump into this video guys please please subscribe to my channel and if you end up liking this video please give it a thumbs up right so let's get into the video so guys i'm going to be showing you the parts of the eye that i'll be referring to in this video so that you don't get lost or you don't get confused when i'm talking about where i'm applying the eyeshadow okay so this area just underneath your brow here there's a bone here on this area this part is called the brow bone the brow bone and then this area just above your crease it's called above crease area <laughs> and then where my eye folds or creases when i open it it's called the crease the crease and this is called the outer end or the outer v of the eye the inner corner of the eye and this whole area is the eyelid the first step for me is priming my eye and I do that with either an eye primer or a concealer. This is just preparing your eyelid for the foundation. I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal, right? In the color phone, you want to use a concealer that is lighter than your skin tone, preferably maybe two shades, right? And the great thing about using concealer is because because of how concealer is, it makes the eyeshadow attach to the eyelid easily and also the color pops easily. So you want to apply concealer, right? But you should be careful with concealer because concealer is oily and your eyelid is oily as well. So when you put it on, make sure you blend it out nicely, right? So that it doesn't crease as much. I'm just going to blend using my finger. You can use a brush if you have it. You can use a blending sponge if you have it. This area of the eye or the eyelid is generally oily, right? And if you put concealer, it will be oilier, if that makes any sense. So what happens is when it gets oily, your concealer breaks, yeah? That, and then it creases, it goes into the crease and then, you know, there's whole. So what you want to do is you want to set your the concealer that you put on your eyes. You can totally skip this step. I sometimes skip this. But if you have it, it's good that you set your concealer and I'm using a translucent powder. Okay, now I'm actually applying the eyeshadow and uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to apply the transition color and I'm going to apply the transition color generally in the area above my crease, that is this area. This is the area I'm going to apply the transition color and the transition color I'm going to be using is this. Is that the one yes this color okay so i'm just going to be using this blending brush is from lancome make sure your blending brush is nice and fluffy at the ends like that so that it blends well right so what you want your transition color to be is it should be a light color so for example they can be light pinks light purples whatever color it is it's a light color or you can use like neutral earth colors those also work great but the transition color does is it helps in blending the colors that you're going to be putting on your eyes one two it also gives it a gradient what i mean is there'll be a more natural finish to your eyeshadow that is not harsh that is blended well so transition color is really really important and i'm just going to put my transition color here The idea is you start here and then you blend in circles going in you start here you concentrate it here and you drag it inside right and if you want to know where you should end putting your eyeshadow is use this right okay so connecting the end of your brow your eye and your nose 
right around this area this is where your eyeshadow should stop right so i'm just going to continue putting my color my transition color and make sure you blend it well so when you're applying your transition color or you're blending out your eyeshadow make sure you hold the blending brush at the tip or towards the end this will result in you not having as much control of the brush and thus when you're blending it has that soft nice natural finish and that is what we are going for I generally I always do my eyes before I put foundation and everything this is because for me it is easier to go back and fix any mistakes that I've done to my eyes if I don't have makeup on if I have the foundation and everything like that that's a disaster I can't do that so I prefer doing my eyes and when I do my eyes I do this one and then I do this one some people do one whole eye they completely they move to the next for me that's so unnatural I'd rather do it one like i rather do it like exchanging like this side and then i go this side once i'm done with one step i move to the next step for both eyes do hmm. you see how perfect that blend is remember we are putting the transition color on the area above the crease granted some things will slip onto the crease which is fine but we want to concentrate it on the area above the crease like this So next, I'm going into my crease area right here. Remember, this is the crease. And usually, I like to use medium toned to dark colors into my, in my eye crease or in the crease of my eye just because it gives it a nice definition. And I'm just going to go in with a dark color like this. You start here, right? And then you drag it in. Notice how I'm using a smaller blending brush. This is because I want the dark color to be concentrated on the crease of my eye. So note what I'm doing with the dark color that I'm putting on my crease. I start at the outer end here, right? Blend it and then drag it in, right? So that the intensity is at the outer side of the eye, right? You just drag in the other color into the eye. So you blend it out nicely in circular motions and then do not go into your crease area with a lot of eyeshadow at one go guys it makes blending it out a nightmare what you want to do instead is you build up your eyeshadow and you do this by putting a little eyeshadow at a time so you put a little you blend it out you go in with another layer you put it in you blend it out until you get the intensity that you're going for this also applies to the transition color i usually like going back with the brush i used to blend out and just use it to blend it out again in case we lost any color during the crisp during the applying of the eyeshadow in the crease area so i just like going back like this and also it helps the blending of the crease color and the other color that we put on is our transition so what you can do and what i'm going to do for this look is i'm just going to apply more of that dark color to the inner edges of my eye like this this also aids in getting the definition like this all right i'm going to do the same thing to this side next guys i'm just going to go i'm going to put eyeshadow on the eyelid right but i'm just going to put a bit of concealer so that the color i'm going to put on my eyelid pops right I'm just going to put a little like this and blend it out. You can use a finger or your brush to blend it out. All right, let me see if I can do it with my finger. This is not a cut crease, guys. Even if you see the way I'm applying this uh, concealer. So I'm going to apply eyeshadow to the lids of my eyes. So this is the inner lid sort of and the mid part of the eyelid right and i'm using this little brush here this brush is for packing eyeshadow if you can see the bristles are nice short and they are packed tightly like this this makes this brush great for uh, packing eyeshadow onto your eyelid and i'm just going to be using this very shouting color and i'm going to be using this motion to put it on Yeah. 
you tap it on like this okay great choices Mutsa. we do make some bad decisions but today we made it okay i'm just putting it on the eyelid notice i'm not extending it to the crease of the eye because i'm not going for that look i just want it concentrated here on the eyelid right So I'm just dusting all the fallout that I had. So this is the advantage of doing your eyes before you do your foundation because if there's any fallout, you can just dust it off easily like this. Another thing, guys, when you're doing your transition color, use a matte eyeshadow. Use a matte eyeshadow. Don't use this glitter eyeshadow or this um, shiny eyeshadows because they are harder to blend. The place where you'd prefer putting the eyeshadow that is shimmer, as your eyelid here because you want to pack it on right you can also put the matted color on the eyelid this is what i did today i wanted a matte look this is what i did i am fast forwarding this part because it's not part of today's tutorial <laughs> guys this is basically basically how to apply eyeshadow the tips that i just gave you today apply to any situation when you're applying eyeshadow whether you decide to go dramatic with loud colors or you want a muted more natural look it's still the same thing what i'm doing here is i'm giving you the basics of makeup once you know the foundation you can start breaking the rules so it is important for you to understand the basics and the foundations so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to go off camera and just finish up my makeup look and i'll come back with a final look i usually like finishing my look with putting a bit of eyeshadow here and blend it out oh guys sorry i forgot to film me putting the highlight on my brow bone but do not forget the step so guys this is the complete look with foundation and the whole shebang I'm not sure if you can see how nicely my eyeshadow blends or the colors that blend well together thank you so much guys for joining me in this video i had so much fun and hopefully you guys have learned something and if there are people out there watching this video who didn't know how to apply their eyeshadow i believe this video will help you out if you have any questions please don't hesitate to put them in the comment sections i promise i promise i'll reply to them thank you so much for watching and please give this video a thumbs up Okay, okay. Thank you for watching, and until I come with another video, it's bye bye for now.